A hit as he throws there, incomplete. But nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. This offense, two for two on third downs on this drive. They're in for a tough test here, though. Third and long. His throw caught right around the six. And the Chargers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. A shotgun snap for Herbert. And he's just going to throw this one out of bounds here. Nowhere to go with it. Incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. An incomplete pass on first down. Here's second and goal. Eckler. No signal, and now they say he did not get in. He is stonewalled at the one. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. And oh, it will be intercepted. Picked off by Jason Verrett. And the 49ers are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. And the defense, Charles, they bit a little bit, but they did not break. And then on third and goal there, the huge interception. Think of the momentum they're carrying with them right now, Brandon, because in their mind, whether they want to admit it or not, they were conceding three points. Their goal was to keep them out of the end zone, not give up a touchdown. Instead, they give up nothing. What a big-time play and a big-time stop by them. 107 yards on the ground for him so far. This guy's well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage. And we're still in the second quarter. And he will get enough for a first down, and that will lead us to the two-minute warning. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Four yards the pickup, first down. From the shotgun to McCaffrey, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Here's Lance to throw it. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Strike it, strike it. 
McCaffrey on the counter. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Pardon, I know my grade school teachers never would believe this, but I can absorb a lesson. I think there's a lesson in this one. He's having a great day running the football, but occasionally they're going to find a way to stop you, aren't they? Yeah, this time the defense stepped up in what's been so far a tough game for them. Now on second and 13, Lance. This will be caught at Samuel. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 35. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. The Lance going to throw. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And some room to work. Touchdown. Christian McCaffrey. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the 49ers will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Charger drive about to get going. They're certainly in need of some kind of points here before the end of the half. A field goal or something being shut out right now. They could really use some momentum before they head into halftime. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Now, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. To throw on second and ten, Herbert. He's got his man. That's Everett, the tight end. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. On first down, Justin Herbert. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Oh, they'll certainly be on the tablets going over that one for sure. Clearly, they were expecting something else out of the defense and couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Herbert off of play action. He's got a man complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. That one covers 29 yards, first down. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. Herbert operating from the red zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chargers. Mike Williams on the touchdown throw from Justin Herbert. And the Chargers are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Hopkins with the extra point, and that'll make our score 14 to 7.
So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. Fields it right around the goal line. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Chargers going to get the football first here in the second half, and they trail as we get back underway. Fields this way up at the 17. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here, trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. And this drive is almost over before it began, thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. He's airing it out for Williams. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And all the way in for a Charger touchdown. Mike Williams, 78 yards. And the Chargers come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Extra point good by Hopkins, and we are tied at 14. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. He's at the 40. Pass the 20. He will score. Touchdown, 49ers. And people still trying to get back to their seats from the concession stand here at the start of the third quarter. And boom, we got points on the board. And you just identified why the bulk of stadiums have increased presence in the concession areas, right? TVs, loudspeakers, so people can still follow the game. And right now, they're bummed out that they missed that big return to start this half. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. Very short kick, taken right at the 20. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter, went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? On first down, it's Herbert. Oh, wide open, complete. Touchdown. 
Josh Palmer, 58 yards. And the Chargers are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then it's the wide receiver. Great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. And this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Here we go. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. We got a brand new ball game all even after that last touchdown. So every drive now becoming a little more critical here in the second half. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. The drive starting with a first down 11 yards on that pickup. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game. And there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it. And no adjustment has been made to take it away. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. And this defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback. They also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now a give right side McCaffrey. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground honed in on it and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Here we go, set. Right, 52. Right, right. Throwing his lance on third down. That's caught, he finds Danny Gray. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 40. And Lance now to throw. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he'll be brought down at the 27. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Back to the ground attack here. It's McCaffrey. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Play action. Now it's Lance. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. Austin Johnson gets the sack defensively. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third.
The Niners on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and nine. To throw, it's Lance. Over the middle, that's complete to McCaffrey. And he gets it inside the 10 to the nine. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars, and he came through with a nice catch right there. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. They've been in the red zone three times in this game and have not scored a single point. Can they break through here on second and goal? From the gun, it's Lance. That's caught by Debo Samuel. Touchdown, San Francisco. Seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Niners answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. Gold with the extra point, and they will take a seven-point lead. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This is taken just shy of the 10. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the... The Charger drive about to get going. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Herbert now. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by Talanoa Hufanga. And the Niners are going to take possession of the football. Well, this has been a bit of a tough game to figure out when it comes to him throwing the football. He's got the three touchdown passes, but now, Charles, this is a third interception. And those aren't really numbers that you'd like to see balance out. In a normal ledger sheet, if you can balance everything, you feel good about your day. But as a quarterback, you need your ratio to be more like three touchdown passes to one interception. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Well, the offense has had a big day. He's been great running the football, but I don't think anybody liked that last result. No, they didn't like the last result at all, but they have to look at it in total, don't they? They've had a big day running the football. You take an occasional loss or an occasional bad play along the way, but all in all, they have to like what they've done. Now Lance unable to escape, and down he goes. 
The former number three pick, Joey Bosa, bringing the lumber that time. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Oh, he's going to go ahead and field it from the three-yard line. Call it a 48-yard punt. Give him nine, though, on the return. And the Chargers will be backed up deep to begin their drive as they take over first and ten. The Charger drive about to get going. Well, the defense got its job done, forcing the punt. Now the formula pretty simple. They need to find the end zone here. A field goal doesn't help them much. And the drive starts with a completion, left side. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Five yards remain on second down. Now it's Herbert. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like having there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's throwing it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions. That means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Herbert. That's going to be complete to his tight end, Everett. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Throwing Herbert. He's going to let it fly. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to save it every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now. Because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. They'll set a receiver in motion to the right. Dancing to his left. And that will be incomplete. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Fourth down for Herbert, desperation time. And that's intercepted yet again, and that could be the backbreaker. And now off to the races, down the right side, and into the end zone. You gotta choose. You like the top of you, just like the loop.